Deliciously with Ara. Today we're gonna make the perfect pot of Ansong Tangmyeon using the Kim's ramen. Actually, there's a lot of Korean ramens available right now, and one of the classic ones that's really popular is this one, the current, the orange one, the Ansong Tangmyeon. This is um, very um, soy based, in Tuenjang based. Niya. So if you wanna go like mix up all kinds of your toppings that's available, you can do that using this ramen. So now we open the packet. And for your seasoning, you have to shake it once para hindi siya matapon. So if you want to be also creative with all the mixtures of your toppings, I think the best ramen to choose is Ansang Tamyan. So I chose here my favorite, the broth ham. And also I have here some sliced beef. Of course, you can always mix and match your toppings, but if you want to go all out, this is the ramen to choose. And also the cheese fish curds and some mushroom balls. So later on, when you taste it, para siyang almost like para one big hot pot na siya. And then I'm gonna add in some leeks. And champagne, we can never miss our garlic. So I got here around one half teaspoon of my garlic. And then we're gonna bring our pot into our machine and just press. And we just have to wait for four minutes and 30 seconds and it will already do the perfect ratio and perfect timer which you don't have to worry in having your perfect match of your ansang tangmyeon. Kunwari, if you're like very hungry and lahat ng mga toppings na nakikita niyo, you really want to have it all, enjoy everything, I think the perfect part that you choose is ansang tamyan. And sometimes for you to enjoy the perfect Korean ramen, you really have to know what kind of ramen you're eating. And especially for ansang tamyan, actually a lot of people call the ansang tamyan, which is like sort of in a Korean way, na parang perfect match, sort of like that. But the original of it is it came from the region in Korea um, called ansang area, where it's, like a, um, it's very popular popular for lahat ng parang isang siyang malaking hot pot na mga pinapakulong parang beef stew. So as you can imagine, it has a very strong beef base ang kanyang lasa with a lot of the tuenjang base kaya hindi siya masyadong spicy compared to the other Korean ramyuns. So lahat ng mga meat na uh, meat or a even anything that you can see as a topping na po nyo talaga ilabgay, this is where you go all out. And I can already smell my perfect ansang tamyang boiling parang nakakagutom na talaga, smell pa lang. Words cannot express how perfect my ramen is. And actually, yung parang noodles niya, it's very tender. I don't know how I can explain yung parang napaka bouncy and perfectly cooked. Hindi lang talaga siya al dente, but um, it's just really perfect. That it's very hard to do it at home, but with the Kim's ramen machine, it's no a big deal. And I love how the whole flavor blends into my ramen to give me this very gourmet experience in Kim's ramen. So hope you enjoy my recipe. Hope you enjoy my topping selections. See you next time. Bye.